All right, tracking. For kids with dyslexia or kids who do not have their phonics, the tracking is the solution. Now, tracking is after new concept. What I did in place of Orton Gillingham linkages, where you do these eight points when you introduce a letter, I quickly introduce the sounds and clean them up, but I practice the letters and my syllable tracking. So when I go fat to fast and they have to go fast, notice they're practicing and cleaning up all their sounds. So rather than beating and drill, my syllable work cleans up the sounds. Now, if you have a particular sound problem, you may move out of my tracking and just go to the sound problem. So if the child has an it a problem, it a, I can take the tracking sequence and just work with it. Yeah. So let's say it's fast to fussed. I could go fist to fest and the next fest to fist to just to just. In other words, I can work with the two problem sounds while I use the tracking sequence. That's how I clear up a lot of sound problems is by just working, taking my sequence I have there, but substituting their problem words in there. So tracking. <clears throat> was one of my ways of reinforcing sounds without a lot of drill. But actually tracking is what works with advanced phonemic um, phonological skills. Um, and it's really what helps the child start seeing individual sounds, not a large auditory blob. And so it's really crucial, especially, especially Let's start one, two, and beginning threes. Okay, so let's review step tracking. So if I say pull out miss, um, nist, they would go n, i, s, t. Notice they have to articulate each sound. That's a review of four sounds right there. Make it vix, vist. So now they echo the word vist. They then step on each tile, step on each tile. Wist or vix, vist, v. They don't change yet. You step on each tile before, tile for each, v, ist. Now you change, n to v. Now look at all the practice they got with sounds there. Now this the schist, schist, sh, i. Notice I step on each tile. S, t, v, to sh, schist. So this is working on getting Broca's area real clean. When they work with real words, this clean Broca's area lines up with Wernicke's the knowledge of the words and unlocks the words. Right now we're making it real clean. Schist to schilt, schilt, sh. Step on each tile. Sh, i, o, t, s, to o. Schilt to chilt, chilt, ch, i, o, t, sh, to ch. Now, if you have a start three and you're at the Valtag. Let me get my lessons book up. If you're at a star three, Notice that I begin, even though star three is working with two syllable words, or no, concept eight, Valtag, it begins with these words. And what I'm checking to see is, can they instantaneously change in all positions? So if I go chess, make it chisp, can they make the change? Shisp, can they make it chasp, shusp? 
If they're struggling, they're at step tracking, even though they're a start three. If they do well, I go back to the, I now start the two syllable words. So this is checking with a start three to see if they're ready for two syllable words. Remember a star three, you clean up the constant teams and vowels and you teach the vowel tag. So if I have a child that's starting there, I wanna see if they're ready for, if they need step tracking or concept tracking. Concept tracking is when a child can basically replace words or letters in any position. So once I move to con concept tracking, it's gonna look like this. Okay. Lisp, lisp, all it, lisp. Okay. Make it clisp. They say the word just like step tracking. They do everything like step tracking except step. That's why it's called concept. Clisp. K. Clisp. K. Make it clasp. Clasp. They don't step. They go right to it. Eh, eh. Clest. Clest. To t. Clest. So they do the same steps as step tracking, except stepping. They just say the word, make the change, then read the word. Plest, plest, k, to, p, plest. Pressed, pressed, l, to, r, pressed. So concept tracking, we move, usually we start concept tracking around concept eight or nine, but I've had kids who are still pretty severe that I've done step tracking it all the way through our family. Okay, so that's a major judgment. Um, the Reading League is finding that the isolating individual sounds is crucial for a lot of kids who can't read, which I've found for years. Okay, any questions on that before I move on? Hey, Steve, can you address the question of what do you do with silent letters or silent sounds? Sure. If, okay, let's go. Mesp, mep, to nep, nep. Mm. Nep, then I say, Put the rest below. They would put this below. Whoops. I would just ask them to put the rest below. So if I went to resp, rep, I'm sorry. They put the best. And I say put the rest below. They put this below. Okay. Now that can get pretty rangy. So if I go ripe, or let's say reap, And they could do this, reap. Then I say, put the rest below. They can do this. They can do this. So they can do this. Yeah, Steve, my question yeah. was more for step tracking. Because if you do the sounds for step tracking, you wouldn't want to do the er, e, p, and then the e would be silent. like. Would you not do silent letters in the step tracking? Sure. All right, so, so step you, tracking. Well, now you're what, if you, what if you wanted to change? Wrapped or ripe to rip or rip to ripe? Yes. So okay, what, how do you do, do the sound for the silent E? Okay, we're now dealing with syllable knowledge. So rip, r, it, r, it, rip, add to it. Ripe, r, i, p. I have to add that to make that say i. It's silent. 
Okay, and now do the next one where the E is there, but you don't say the sound. Change ripe to rape. Nope, ripe wrong to one. Rape. Oops. Ripe Change to ripe to root. Rope. 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 Sorry. Oh. That was a bad mistake here. Rope. And then you don't say a sound for the E. No, no, it's a concept. You have six. What you did is you're moving from sound to syllables. Syllables are the effect of patterns on six patterns. You have an open syllable. So if I go row to rye open, they would just put an I there. If I do close, they put a short vowel. When I go to silent E or go to making it long, I put a silent E. I can put the rest below if I wanted. O, A, and um, O, E. I can do that. No, what I'm saying is, is in step tracking. Yeah. But let me do that. Well, maybe, can, can I ask something? Maybe, um, Randy, can you be the teacher and maybe Steve be the student? Because then yeah, we let's can do that. see, see right. what kind of questions you're asking, Randy, because I feel like I have the same kind of, I just want to make sure I'm doing it right. And I feel like I'm this close to understanding. Go ahead, okay. Randy. All right, Steve, change rope to roop. Roop. In step tracking. Roop. R -u Conceptual. Ooh, roop. Okay, now do the rest. What? Oh, put the rest? Yes. Roop. Mm, what know. about there's one more? No, I'm not doing these are you. No, I know. What about the what about the real you? The what? The letter U. It says you. you. Not a Are you P E? Yoop. Roop. Okay. Now, that's roop. It's different. Mm, you don't always have the y in it if it's after an R. No, you put it there. That's a spelling pronunciation. Okay. All right, let me back up. All U's can have an O sound when there is a letter rounding the mouth. So watch my mouth. P U, U, right? Put an L there, your mouth rounds. Full U, it cuts off the U. Now Q, it has the U sound. Put an R after that, it's crew. Now, we could have given it two sounds and I had, um, Tutors that work with special ed kids helped me decide that. And they said, the kids, when they sounded out words that they went crew, they got the word and it helped them with spelling. So we kept that. Remember, I simplified everything because you sound out words with context. They were part of a crew, a crew, see? So if I was doing this, I go roop, good. Make it roop, oh, roop. And I tell the child, I'm giving a spelling pronunciation, roop. Okay, now make it roop. But wait, roop. yeah, you're, that would be rup. I, I have to do this to make it roop. Correct. So uh, that's, a, that's really only a problem with the U sound. Okay, so change roop to ripe. Roop to ripe, R U. U to I, right. Keep giving me some. No, I'm just kind of confused because I thought you're not supposed to say the U. You would say R I because the I would go there. I say U to I. I tell them what I'm changing and what I'm putting in. So let me give you an example. If I go, Steve, make it rep. Child would step from step R. Eh, eh, to eh. I tell what's out and in. Rep. Mm -hmm. Now make it rup. R, uh, eh to uh. Now make it. Both. Now make okay. it roop. 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 I say that sounds a little funny. That's the spelling pronunciation. Now just make it roop. Give the proper oo. Otherwise, when I give spellings, what that would have done? Let me tell you. If I gave the second sound to you. This would become yellow. 
Uh, these would be yellow. These would not, would have a second, it changed everything, made it more complex. So rather than doing that, I went, simplified it to the U sound. And that simplified the phonics. Remember, one of the reasons people didn't teach phonics, didn't teach, is they said they have 200 and some sounds. Well, if you teach all the variations of the phonics, and you teach all the consonants, short vowels, and teams, and all the blends, 50 blends, and all the word families, 112, you're at 200 and some sounds. I condense that to a simple program. And the simple program works with sound it out and what makes sense, sound it out and what makes sense. This was a decision I made to simplify. If you wanted something more complex, Wilson has all the eight sounds of O-U-G-H, I think, and you can have a party, but you know, I was done with that. <laughs> I just, Forget that nonsense. I'll teach the eight words that are O-U-G-H. All right, any more questions on that? Valerie, is that clear? Do you have, you want to give me some words? I, I think that was helpful. Um, we could do a couple more if- Sure, just give me what you want. People think that would be good. Um, let's see. You have Roop, make it um, rap. Rap, rap, rur. Remember I touch each one, I step, rur. A, u, to a. So I'm isolating the sounds and I'm reviewing the sounds I'm moving. Okay, rap. You have rap, make it shap. Shap, sh, ap, rur. And once they get the idea of this, once they get the idea, oh, I said, you have, yeah. yeah. You can just give the next word. You don't have to say you have, you know, oh, you okay. can't. once they get the oh. momentum, they'll know. Shop. 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 Right. Make it shop. Shop. Sh. Ah. Add a ah. Shop, make it shop. Shop. Oh, shop. Make it shop. Shop. Make it slope. Slope. S well, I'm sorry. Slope. Stop tracking, I'd go. S. O. O. That was a double change, slope. I usually don't have double changes. Yeah, until yeah, yeah. Slope, make it, uh, make it slop. 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 In other words, I get rid of the e. That becomes a. Make it slep. 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 The made made up word. Slep. Slep. Eh. Ah to eh, slep. Okay. That's good. That's so that's step tracking. Yeah. Can we try now to see what concept tracking looks like again? Sure. Concept. The only steps you don't do is the stepping on the tile. You echo the word, you make the chains like slet. So you echo the word, make the change, and then say the word. Plet, plet, to plet. Plot, plot, eh, to ah. Okay. Plot. More? So. Um, plot to plate. Or is that too money? That's okay. Plate. Ah. To. A. Plate to slate. Slate. 
I should just to slate. Make it slat. Slat. Slate. Or eh. Slat. Oh, I'm sorry, I wouldn't even say that. Make it slat. I just move this. Slat. Right? So they don't re they don't echo the old word, they echo the new word. Well, yeah. So if I say when you say slat. This is a silent E, I just get rid of that. It doesn't, and it's slap. Then if you say uh, slash, I'd go slash t to sh slash. Getting a lot of staring going on. Make, make it slack. What do you want? Slack. Slack. Shh. To k slack. And if they put this, I'd say, is that your best bet? If they didn't know, I'd say, after a hungry vowel, what's our best bet? Oh, this one. OK. All right. Let's just do one, one more. Um, make it slap. Slap? Slap. Ch to p slap. Yeah. I got it. OK, cool. All right, Steve, you might want to tape this next thing separate as teacher recommendations, okay? I can just tell you this saved this guy's job who had little control once he followed these recommendations. Who has the question about eighth grade? Okay, gotcha. So Steve, what are you saying? Stop the recording and record this new one. Oh, gotcha, okay.